The guardrail management system maintains your guardrail inventory records. The system interfaces with the daily crew worksheet system and the garage and parts inventory system. Latitude and longitude values can be retrieved from geocoded photos or by using a GPS receiver. A quick start menu will be displayed when you start the program. The menu options available on this menu are also available on the top drop down bar menu. The system variables form can be accessed from the quick start menu and also from the system menu. The system variables form stores the name of the data folder containing the data files used by the system and other options for the program. The data location can be changed by clicking on the select directory button. The select directory button will allow you to navigate on your system to the folder containing the data files. Select your preferences for the other choices on the form and press confirm to save your responses. The data entry drop down menu allows access to all data files used by the guardrail management system. The main data entry form is the guardrail master file form. This is the file that will contain all the guardrail records. The data entry drop down menu also allows maintenance of the road master file, the table files associated with it, and the township master file. The last option provides a means to import guardrail records that have been entered at a different location. This is the guardrail master file form and should contain one record for each section of guardrail on your roads. The form consists of four pages. Click on the tabs at the top of the form to switch pages on the form. Double mouse click or press F10 in the guardrail number field to assign the next available guardrail number. Double mouse click or press F10 in the route, road name, from location, to location, or road section fields to select the location of the guardrail from the road master file. Enter the beginning and ending locations of the guardrail. The total length will be calculated. Extended notes for the guardrail can be maintained on the notes page of the guardrail master file form. Up to four pictures and their captions can be viewed on the pictures page of the guardrail master file form. The GPS page of the guardrail master file form also allows you to display a picture. If a picture is selected on this page of the form, the latitude and longitude attached to the picture is retrieved from the picture file and stored in the record. If you are entering the record at the location of the guardrail and have a GPS receiver communicating with your computer, you can click the Retrieve GPS Location button on the page and the latitude and longitude will be stored in the record. If you have an internet connection, the physical address of the location will be retrieved using Google Maps. The Import Guardrail Records option will allow you to add records to the guardrail master file from other data locations. This may be used if you have someone using a laptop that is not connected to the network with the main database. Click the Select File button to select the file containing the records to be imported. Enter the ranges to be imported and click Append Records to add the records from the selected file to the main guardrail database. The maintenance menu provides options for programmatically updating your data. You can assign guardrail numbers to records without guardrail numbers and obtain physical addresses for records with latitude and longitude values that may have been obtained when there was not an internet connection. The create records in the guardrail master file from pictures option is useful if you have taken pictures of guardrails and have not yet made entries in the guardrail master file for the guardrails. Copy the pictures into a folder on your hard drive and then select that folder using the menu option. This procedure will create a guardrail record for each picture. If the pictures are geocoded, the physical address of each picture will be retrieved from, the, from Google Maps and stored in the guardrail record. The location of the picture on your computer will be stored in the guardrail record and you will be able to view the pictures as you navigate through the newly created records. Report selections will be displayed if you select File, Print Reports, or select Reports from the top menu. Let's take a look at the Guardrail Master File Reports. When you select a particular report from the menu, a selection screen will be displayed. This is the Guardrail Master File Report selection screen. Here you may enter a range of values for various fields to be included on the report. You may also select a report type and the order for the report. You can send the report to the printer or the screen. 
You also have the option of creating a PDF file or an XLS file. On this selection screen, I have chosen to include only Route 9. I have entered 009 in the from and to values in the route field. The from and to values for the route field can be selected from the road master file by pressing the F10 key while your cursor is in the from or to field. The default from and to values on the selection screen will be the smallest and largest values for the field, respectively. I have chosen the one line format as the report type and the route log point as the report order. I will leave the default values for all the other variables on the report selection screen. Let's send the report to the screen by clicking the screen button. This is a sample of a screen report. A toolbar will be displayed that will allow you to go to the top or the bottom or the next or the previous page. You may also choose to display one, two, or four pages at a time. Select a larger or smaller percentage to increase the size of the print or decrease the size of the print. You may also choose to send the report to the printer by clicking the picture of the printer. If you do not see the toolbar on your screen report, right mouse click to display a pop-up menu and left click on toolbar. Softworks has been working with county engineers, highway departments, and other government offices since 1984. This program is a product of the ideas and suggestions of many of our valued customers.